We're Dennis and Liz, full-time RVers who hit the road in 2017 in search for all of the amazing things to eat and see as we RV North America. As a part of RV life, we love being able to unplug and get out in nature. But we also love a good city. And after several weeks of staying in small, remote areas of Wisconsin and Michigan, we were super excited to make it to Milwaukee. Join us this week as we take you with us to eat, see, and drink all we can with only two days in this beautiful area. Welcome to Milwaukee. It has been quite some time since we have been in a big city, and I'm not gonna lie, we're digging it. <laughs> we have missed all of the amazing food, bars, vibes that just come from being in a city. I had never been to Milwaukee. This is both of our first times actually. And I wasn't sure what to expect. I kind of was expecting a huge, big, busy city like Chicago, which is only a few hours from here. But it's not like that. There's so much history and charm and it, it's rather spread out. So it feels like it's a very manageable size. It's like the Goldilocks zone. It's not too big, it's not too small, and there is no shortage of things to do. We are not going to be going to a game. We're not going to the Harley Davidson Museum, which is a huge to-do for a lot of people when coming to the area, or any of the other art museums that are very worthwhile visits during your time here. Instead, we're gonna be spending the next two days seeing Milwaukee and how we feel is the best way to see a city, through food and booze. Our first stop is in the Third Ward District, which is a historic district right next to downtown with all these beautiful old buildings. And we came here because we want to go to the public market. It's an indoor market that has tons of different vendors, food stalls, shops that you can enjoy. And we've heard there is a wide range of delicious food. We haven't eaten yet, so I'm very hungry. is massive. There are so many different vendors to choose from. An olive oil shop, spice shop, there's a wine area, a bar you can sit down and have some drinks. They have tacos, pizza, delis. There's a vegan shop. We're going to be trying all of the things, or as much as we can, since today is gonna to have so much food and drinking in it, we're also trying to pace ourselves, making sure we don't bite off more than we can chew, literally. To start, we went to On The Bus, which is a vegan shop. We ended up getting a lovely green smoothie to get some greens in our body before our food adventures continue for the day. But this is really cool. If you are coming with a group or you just want to have diversity in your food, definitely come to the market. Even just if you walk around, it's a really fun vibe. I'm ready to eat more. They stuff these things to the brim. It is all lobster in there. Very good. I mean, you you can't get better than Maine lobster rolls. So, I'm gonna say it doesn't compare to the East Coast, but it is a very good lobster roll. And you definitely get value for your money here compared to the East Coast. Could recommend. <laughs> get my workout in for the day. Doing some, uh, two pound Bloody Mary curls. I don't even know where to start with this. It's got bacon, it's got grilled cheese, it's got cheese curds, and because I'm expecting this thing to be crazy rich, they give you a little lager chaser, I guess to cleanse your palate when you're done. I'm gonna have to eat my way to the liquid before I can even taste it. This is crazy. Bacon's good. Oh yeah, so this was a gallon of uh, delicious Bloody Mary we had to bring it to the next spot, which is Margarita Paradise. They've been voted number one best tamal in Milwaukee. So we had to try the pork tamal and we're getting a chorizo taco. We're spoiled. Mexico tainted us. We've gotten Mexican out twice since being back in the United States and each time we're like, it ain't Mexico. It's just not the same. It's just not the same. I guess we just have to go back. Sooner than we thought.
nickname Brew City, and for good reason. There's a ton of brewing history here. PBR, Pabst Blue Ribbon, Miller, Schlitz, and one of my favorite malt liquor beverages of all time, Mickey's. Comes with a little grenade bottle. It's all from Milwaukee. It's crazy. You can still take some tours of the historic breweries. We're not gonna do any of those because all of you guys told us on Instagram that we had to come to Lakefront Brewery Company, and that's where we're at. It's been voted number one for a few years running as far as like best brew tour and beer in Milwaukee, so we had to try it out. I gotta say, I'm starting out with the lager. Chris finishes clean. I'm pretty impressed. Besides the beer, the best part of this place is it's right on the river. I'm talking about on the bank of the river. So we could have walked from the public market here and it would have been about a 30 minute walk, which I think would have been beautiful all along the river. But unfortunately, we don't have a ton of time to walk the city like we would want to because the architecture here is rad. It's reminiscent of like the historic parts of Philly and Chicago. A lot of the buildings are from the 1800s. It's small of where you'd want to walk all the areas that you want to visit uh, and still have amazing historic views and great food and Bruce, while you do it. Dipping it in their homemade sauce, five spice bao. Mm. Mm. I love five spice. And the bun's so soft. Before we take you out for our final day exploring in Milwaukee, we wanted to show you where we're camping. If you're coming in an RV, Camping spots are limited within the city limits. We ended up finding a spot at the Wisconsin State Fair RV Park. It's about 10 to 15 minutes from downtown, so it's easily accessible for all the things that you're going to want to do in the city of Milwaukee. It's safe. It was a nice RV park, but it's pretty much a parking lot. You're really close to the highway, so there's lots of noise. And one thing that is a, a perk, I guess you could say, for the RV park is it's right across the street from the shuttle for Summerfest which is this iconic festival that happens every Friday and Saturday during the summer. It's a free event, there's live music, it's supposed to be a super fun thing to do in Milwaukee. It's not really our vibe right now. Instead, we are going to do something that is much more us, which is going to a farmer's market. We need to restock the fridge, and this is a perfect place to do it. Super successful market run. The West Alice Market operates three days a week. We came on a Saturday, which is from one to six. They have so many different vendors to choose from. Tons of varieties of fresh vegetables, meats. There's lovely flowers. I, I just love a market day. Like, no, nothing shows you the area better than going to the market. Oh, and this is a really cool market because it's also the most historic. It's been in operation in this location since 1919. Over 100 years, it's pretty amazing. Good job, Milwaukee. meal. It has been a very long time since we've been in a big city and had access to diverse range of food. We got a dumplings to start that are filled with cauliflower and it's in a corn broth. He shaved an egg yolk that has been marinated in miso. We have a beautiful kimchi and kohlrabi salad on the side. Holy moly. Then it's got the tonkatsu ramen. I ended up with the beef curry. Holy moly, that was so good. It's been so long since we've had ramen. It's 
particularly good ramen. We didn't share our experience, but we did try to get ramen when we were in Mexico, and that was like the biggest mistake of our lives. It was spaghetti noodles in a very terrible broth. It was just horrific. This just made my heart so happy. If you like ramen, red light ramen should be on your radar. This place was amazing. Well, Milwaukee, you were good to us. I feel like there was a lot we missed. I mean, I know there was a lot we missed. We're traveling through for a weekend. We have two days. We're not gonna see it all. But what we did see was awesome. The city surprised us in so many ways and is such an underrated spot to explore. If you're passing through Wisconsin, make Milwaukee a stop. There's a great RV park right in town that you can explore from, and there's so much great food and fun things to do. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite part of the video was or your favorite part of the city so that when others are coming here, they have more incredible things to do. We're going to be picking you up next week with a very unique travel experience. It'll be a first for us this time. I wonder if you'll, if you'll be able to guess what we're doing next. Anyways, we will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next week. Which is through food and booze. Yeah. I will say one thing we forgot about cities is it's very noisy. It's just like sirens, cars, people, just lots of things all over. A bus behind us. We ended up finding a spot at Wisconsin State Fair. State? State, State Fair. Okay, that's it, that's it. We ended up finding a spot at Wisconsin State Fair Park. It just feels so wrong. <laughs>